Here's another quick and dirty instructional video for one of the many awesome features in SDR Console, recording a chunk of spectrum and playing it back. I'm going to demonstrate how to record the entire AM broadcast band around the top of the hour, then go back and tune in individual stations to listen for top of the hour identifications. It's possible to schedule recordings in advance, but for now I'm going to demonstrate starting and stopping one in real time. First, we want to go ahead and start the radio. And then next, we need to set up the center frequency and the span to be recorded. I'm going to go to the Favorites tab and use the pull-down menu under Broadcasting HF to select the AM band, which is referred to here as MW for medium wave. Go to the Home tab and make sure you don't have the medium wave FM notch uh, turned on. Otherwise, you will not get good AM reception. Next, we're going to go to the Record Playback tab. There's several little buttons in the data record area whose functions aren't obvious until you hover the cursor over them. Select the top one to choose a file and folder to record to. I'm going to call this one Demo and record it to my Downloads folder. You do have the option of selecting an alternate folder by clicking on the folder icon. As soon as I hit Start, an information box indicates that the spectrum is being recorded. And once you're done, you'll need to hit stop, which is another one of those little buttons in the data record area. It's the one on the bottom. So I'll pause here and record for a couple of minutes and be right back. Okay, I'm ready to complete my recording. You can see the timestamp on my waterfall and the length of the recording in the little information box. So let's go ahead and hit the stop button. Then we'll load the file to play it back. Go to the Data Playback section and select the little folder icon. It's one of those buttons that's not obvious until you mouse over it. At this point, you have to hit the Reload button because for some strange reason, changes to the folder aren't recognized by SDR Console until you do that. Select the file you want and hit the Play button and you will now be listening to the recorded spectrum rather than your radio. Up in the data playback area, there are buttons to pause, stop, and restart the recording, and turn auto-repeat on. And the if you stop it, you need to hit the play button, uh, which is one of those little buttons you got to mouse over to figure out what it is. You now have many of the features available on this recording that you would as if you were actually tuning around a radio in real time. You can change the frequency, and the mode, and the filter. You can zoom in and out of the waterfall, and you can also adjust its brightness. And you can also observe the time of the recording in the information box at the bottom. Let's go back to the data playback area. There's a couple of buttons there that are really useful. They let you jump forward and backward in time. You can select the amount of time that it jumps using the button in between the forward and the back buttons. So there you have it. If you have enough disk space, you can re probably record hours worth of a chunk of the radio spectrum. I think SDR Console automatically breaks the files into manageable chunks. Uh, by the way, on the View tab, there is a Data File Analyzer tool that allows you to open one of these recordings and scroll through the waterfall. It's great if you're looking for intermittent signals, but I'm not going to get into that because it's well documented elsewhere and it really is beyond the scope of this brief tutorial. I hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed. Happy monitoring, folks.